Meanwhile, health authorities have just announced that two more people have died from COVID-19, taking the local death toll to 22. This as 145 new cases of COVID were reported today, 142 of which are local infections. Hong Kong edged closer to a week-long triple-digit daily case jump with a new record-breaking number of coronavirus cases today. That includes three imported cases, an infant from the Philippines, a sea crew member from India, and a transit flight passenger who might have arrived from Korea. Locally, another participant of a junk trip on July 12th has gone down with the virus. That's in addition to a new case from Tingyi South Fire Station and 11 who attended work at the same locations as other previously diagnosed patients. We are worried about the uh, trend and there's a risk of uh, further increasing. We will advise the workplace to um, arrange home office to prevent outbreak. If it is necessary to have the office, try to reduce the number of employees and ask them to wear masks during work and space out lunch hours. Also among patients with links to previous cases is a customer of Thulon restaurant. Also in Tumun, Cornwall Elderly's home has so far reported at least 24 people testing positive or preliminary positive for COVID-19. With two of the infected individuals being residents of the same ward, authorities will soon decide whether to put all occupants there under quarantine. Consideration for blanket testing is also being made for Po Chung Chunying Home for the Elderly, where a nurse has tested positive for COVID-19. I think the elderly home is a reflection of the community outbreak. We have community outbreak outside, so it's very difficult to isolate the, um, the elderly home and not get them infected. As of today, the city's coronavirus death toll stands at 22. Hundreds of people queued for the government's free COVID-19 test this morning. Some clinics ran out of their daily allotment of specimen bottles within 15 minutes. Pinky Wong has this story. Lengthy queues have formed outside some of the 22 general outpatient clinics which started giving out the free specimen bottles. Multiple branches, including West Kowloon General Outpatient Clinic, Tun Moon Wu Hong Clinic and East Kowloon General Outpatient Clinic saw more than 100 people lining up. The testing process does not involve any doctor consultation. The first man in the Chang Sao Wan queue was there at 3 a.m. I had colleagues and relatives infected with the virus. I was asked not to go to work, so I want to get tested, he said. This man said he came out of worry as he had a sore throat and there are confirmed cases in his residential building. Clinics in Tun Moon and West Kowloon started distributing the specimen collection packs earlier than scheduled. Those who want to get tested have to collect a specimen bottle between 7.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. on weekdays during the four-week program. Participants are required to return their specimen samples within three days. Positive cases will be reported to authorities for confirmation. Participants should assume a test result is negative if they do not receive notification within a few days. A medical professional thinks the time should be shortened. There are a lot of delay in the uh, lab results to come back to the community doctors, say about uh, four days to one week when the patient has to be admitted to the hospital. There's also a delay of two to three days. That means the whole week the patient is left here at home without anything done. If we treat him after one week of disease, the mortality rate may rise dramatically. His suggestion? We start the treatment right away at home to, so as to, to catch up uh, the, the, what the professor has advised for, for early treatment. Otherwise, the patients just, just stay in the home waiting for the virus to duplicate and duplicate until the virus infect his close contacts at home. And that's very sad. We can uh, make a guideline for the private doctors to follow from the government. The Medical Association also suggested to universities that they turn laboratories into testing centers. This would allow for more testing while also reducing the waiting time for results. Thank you all, TVB News.